20 years ago, the Marbu forest in Mozambique was a secret to all but the locals. That was until satellite images revealed it to a British explorer and ecologist who spotted a mysterious dark green patch of land. A subsequent expedition found the forest and identified it as the largest single block of rainforest in southern Africa. Since then, at least 25 new species, including butterflies, bats, chameleons, have been discovered there. Jonah Fisher has travelled to Marbu on the latest expedition to find it's now going to be turned into a protected area. A forest on top of a mountain, almost entirely untouched by humans. Welcome to Eden, welcome to Marbu Forest. This is about as good as it gets. We join Professor Bayliss and a team of scientists as they head to the centre of Marbu Forest. Three hours now and this is absolutely brutal going through streams climbing over boulders and it looks like we're probably not going to get to the camp until after dark and that's just the first step towards getting into the the middle of this forest one of the reasons why marbu is so special is because it's effectively a land island, a high altitude forest surrounded by the lowlands of Mozambique. For the last 20 years, Professor Julian Bayliss has been trying to get Marbu protected by proving just how exceptional it is. Bayliss I Popiana. Poppy is named my daughter, so uh, this one is, is named after my daughter. This is a juvenile. Several That's dozen new species have been found so far. Yeah. Among the discoveries, new species of chameleon, snake and bat. In a stream just outside our tents, Erica has caught a freshwater catfish. I think that it's something new for, 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 for science and I hope that we have a new species for this area. It's very exciting. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. You guys, are you sure do you want to? The dung beetle expert is certainly unique. Hold on, hold on, I want to put my gloves. He thinks he's found more than 15 new species on Marbu and puts it down to the quality of his bait. Uh, basically, yeah, I'm using my, 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 my feces to, 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 as a bait to attract dung beetles in the forest. So all over this part of the forest, there are probably dung beetles smelling your poo thinking, that's correct. It's lunchtime. That's correct. <laughs> The scientists' hard work does appear to be paying off. The Mozambique authorities told us they've now decided to protect Marbu. We've now arrived at the end goal. This is a conservation success story. Kept hidden for so long, thanks to science, Marbu's secrets should live on. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, in northern Mozambique. And you can watch Jonah's full programme called Marbu, Saving the Secret Forest on the BBC iPlayer now.